Well, and, and I, would, I would say it's not only the radical people that have furthered that agenda. It goes back to people like Henry Blackaby mm -hmm. writing curriculum for the SBC. And you know that very well. And tr trying to teach people how to listen for the voice of God. You, you, that, that's a very popular notion. You, you hear very, very popular, well-known, you would think mature pastors talking about listening for the voice of God. Um, the, the fact of the matter is God has spoken, but he has spoken in his word. And if you claim anything in addition to his word as divine revelation shall be added to you the plagues that are written in it. That is about as stern a warning as you could get, and that's how the entire Bible ends. Don't take anything away and don't add anything or what will be added to you, you won't be too happy about. Um, you ha the, the, the goal, of, one of the goals of every pastor, every preacher, every church leader, every elder is to protect the sole authority of Scripture. If we leak on that, then we've really lost our grip on the truth. I remember listening to a charismatic uh, or moderately charismatic guy say, when Tom or Sally stand up in your church and say, thus saith the Lord, we know he either did say that or he didn't. Well, I, I suppose um, that seemed like a simple explanation to him, but that's exactly the point. We don't know. If, it, if you don't know whether God said it, then why would you claim authority? You know, the, the Apostle Paul, who was caught up into the third heaven, came back and said that, that he saw things that, that he couldn't even speak. He was not permitted to speak. Why wasn't he permitted to speak? Why didn't Paul tell us what he saw when he went to heaven? Because this was beyond Scripture. Even Paul, he actually had a trip to heaven, not a bogus one to, to, to write a silly book. He actually had a trip to heaven, saw things wonderful to behold, but couldn't make a single reference to them, but rather went on to talk about his, his humility, his humiliation, his thorn in the flesh, his weakness, and all of that. So the Apostle Paul, think about it, who wrote 13 of the New Testament books, outside those 13 books, couldn't even give a report on his trip to heaven. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty hard and fast because once you allow for revelation beyond Scripture, then the, the, the idea of authority is cut loose from the boundaries of Holy Scripture. And I think um, Jude makes it clear when he says, we proclaim a once for all delivered to the saints' faith. In other words, as a body of revelation, it was once, once for all delivered, not dribbled out sequentially for the next 2,000 years. And when people say that, they may be talking about some kind of emotional impulse or some kind of pattern of thought. But you can make the promise that at no point is God now revealing Scripture to anyone. I think there's an analogy to that that um, might help. When you look at the created universe, you have to understand that God made it all in six days. And he hasn't created anything since then. It's pretty remarkable. He hasn't mm. created anything since then. The water that he created in Genesis 1 is the water that you drink now. Everything that he created is in existence. None of it has disappeared except it's gone to ashes, and then it's recycled as matter. But he only created once. He created the universe the way it is, and nothing has been added to his creation. And I think it's that way with Scripture. He inspired by his Spirit the, the Word of God, the Holy Scripture, and that was the, the, the end of the revelation, and it was complete and finished. And it's an irresponsible thing for people to say, the Lord told me this. It's, um, it's kind of a spiritual one-upsmanship, you know, you, you, as if I, I can't argue with you because the Lord told you something. Uh, I, I've, I've suggested that how do you know when it's the Lord? I mean, does the red light go on on your head and blink 
when it's the Lord? How do you know when it's the Lord? Well, if you don't know and you're not certain, then um, you can't say it was the Lord. And, and I would suggest to you that it's not the Lord because he's already deposited his once for all delivered revelation.